Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a wizard staff. Now, this is a made-up wizard staff. It doesn't come from any particular movie or book or anything like that. This is totally made up, and it has special effects. See that? <laughs> So, lights, a spinning crystal, kind of neat, fun project. I will not give you every single step of this process, it'll just be an overview, I'll show you some of the things I did. If you want to make up your own wizard staff, with your own creativity, that's kind of the point here. You know, do something that's special and unique, here you go, this is the tutorial for you. Uh, thanks for watching my videos, if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing, if you're not a subscriber, what do you do? You hit that button. Dioramas, origami, cats, pulse, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, the rotating crystal uh, um, is just—it works with a small little plastic gear motor that I bought for five bucks on Amazon. So you put that motor together, and then I use some uh, scraps of uh, aluminum, just some pieces of metal to tape that to the end of the staff and screw it to the end of the staff like this and then I glued on a crystal using a little bit of uh, aluminum to as a mount for it and that's simply that it's just a motor and a crystal <clears throat> then I made a wire frame in the shape that I wanted the staff to be in and there's a reason why I picked this particular shape and I'll show you that at the end of the video but to now to fill in that um, wire I used a product called epoxy sculpt it's a two-part modeling epoxy you mix it together, and then you form it in any shape you want, and then you let it harden. So I filled in the whole staff like that. It's almost like a, a, a clay-like plastic, kind of. And the reason why I used epoxy sculpt is it's very strong and very durable. It's going to hold our frame really nice uh, without any bend or any give in it. It's going to be solid, really strong. But epoxy sculpt isn't the best for the finished product that I want. The finished look that I wanted. So once all of that was dried, I went on to use something called paper clay, which is another kind of a clay that air hardens. Now you don't have to mix it. And then I covered the whole head of the staff again with that, so I could sculpt it into more of a timber-like shape. It looks looks a little bit more like the timbers in the wizard's lair. And it's um, very easy to work with. You can uh, shape it and sand it. You get plenty of time to work with it. So I didn't use a variety of tools just to shape it the way I wanted it. So a couple of different clays, um, just depending on you know what I wanted to do. The first clay, the epo uh, epoxy sculpt was for strength, and the paper clay was to get it to shapeability. So, and here you can see it's almost done, it's getting close, but I wanted to show you, you know, how easy that paper clay is to sand. See how it, it's got a pretty nice look to it, I, I like it. Um, I'm going to show you this whole process, so let's move on to a couple more things here. Uh, once I had it all pretty much done, I painted it. And then I added this string of LED lights with a battery pack that costs another five bucks that I bought and the battery pack will go inside here and it'll be hidden and then I wrap those LEDs around the base of the crystal like this so yeah so it gives a nice illumination to the crystal the crystal kind of lights up which is what I was going for and then I could cover all the way around all four quadrants of the battery compartment there under the crystal with uh, cardstock and glued it all in place. And this way I can just cut away a piece of cardstock um, to replace the batteries when needed. The only thing remaining is a switch. And I kind of took it around with a bunch of different things, but I said I'd go with something like this. I get this little slider switch. I cut a hole in the, uh, in the staff and then soldered in the switch and mounted it right in that hole. And that's it. We're done. So a creative project, give you ideas if you want to make some kind of a crazy wizard staff, something with some special effects maybe. In the case of ours, it has a rotating crystal and it has lights. So, oh, and that 
that um, circle of infinity there, see how the staff has the circle? It's the same as the wizards there. See the arches and the circle? And there's a reason for that. See the arches and the circle. They, were, they go together. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.